Well, okay, kids, here I am again, and I'm working on a bridge for Tiffany's violin. And I decided that I would try something new to kind of give the bridge more contact surface area to the to the belly of the of the violin. Um, I noticed in all of the exchanges from working on the cello and the violins or the cellos and the violin that the bridge is very very thin at the base so in other words the the width of the base of the of the che of the uh, bridge is is so thin that it allows it to uh, to move off of its of its center of gravity point by way of the friction of the strings as they're being uh, adjusted and in and, and the the intensity of the of the uh, tuning tends to drag the bridge to one side so let me get clarify a little bit better what happens is as you're adjusting the strings there's a tendency for the bridge to move off its center and and pitch towards the point of where the strings are being tightened. So my theory was that if I could broaden, just keep the integrity of the of the thinness of the skeleton of the upper portion of the bridge and intensify the base to give more of a surface area, more contact, for example, like I have in this diagram here, where we have a virtually um, a profile vision of the Eiffel Tower here. Uh, so they built it that way for a reason. And I think that this may help the instrument perform better because this tendency would be to find its flat side against the belly of the instrument. So as the strings are tightened, it may try to move slightly, but it'll conform and, and find its way back to its its uh, 90 degree uh, uh, pitch in relation to the belly of the instrument. So, So what I've done is I've created a new bridge for Tiffany's instrument. This is her old one. And this will be the new configuration. It's actually been shaped like the profile of the Eiffel Tower. And it um, it will be installed. We'll go ahead and set it to the surface, to the belly of the instrument uh, in our traditional method. But as you can see, the base of this bridge is much broader and I believe that that will not only intensify the the quality of the sound by transferring more vibration into the belly of the instrument. This is only a theory so we're gonna find out. Uh, we can always replace the bridge and bring it back to its original bridge um, should we find that my uh, my way of thinking on this particular point a view in relation to the, the center of the uh, of the bridge and its fulcrum point. We'll see if uh, if this holds true, and Tiffany will be the one that will tell us for sure. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with the installation, and we'll do another video as soon as we find out um, how our theory works. Okay. So we'll be back to you real soon. Okay, kids, talk to you later.